welcome. It's November as I'm shooting this video, and of course it's no shave November, but also more importantly the holidays are coming in, and as the holidays approach it's natural for people to wonder about uh, family gatherings, the food, the social aspects of food, and um, it can be a concern for a lot of people who are thinking about bariatric surgery, um, what's going to happen with these sort of important social cultural aspects of food after my bariatric operation. And uh, these concerns are quite natural because people who have been on diets, maybe be five or ten diets in the past, have um, had the diets treat food as like an adversary or treat food as a problem. Um, I'm happy to let you know that after bariatric surgery we do not demonize food. You're actually going to have a much more natural relationship with food. So people worry after their surgery, am I going to feel deprived? Am I going to be special high maintenance? Uh, what's going to be the impact on the family for uh, you know how people eat around the family after bariatric surgery? That's exactly what we're going to talk about in the next couple of minutes. And I'm happy to let you know that your bariatric operation is most likely to give you a more natural and a more healthy and a more enjoyable relationship with food than you have at the stage of obesity because the obesity condition gives people an abnormal unhealthy appetite that they can't trust. But the bariatric surgical procedures, as I've discussed in other videos, gives people a more natural, a more healthy appetite that you actually can trust. And as long as you take care of that improved metabolic balance, you can eat according to your improved, more healthy taste. So yes, you can anticipate food, yes you can enjoy food, and yes you can appreciate food. In fact, I've got a lot of professional chefs, I shouldn't say a lot, I've got five or eight professional chefs in my uh, patient population who do really well still in their profession and they tell me they still appreciate food just as much as they did. Now, your taste will change. I hope your taste will change away from carbs and sweets and sort of chemical processed foods. Uh, towards more natural, protein, healthy, fat, spicy foods, but um, still food's definitely going to be an enjoyable part of the process. Absolutely yes, food does have a lot of emotional and cultural significance. There are family gatherings that happen. Um, food, if you go all the way back to caveman days, was a survival process or a survival resource, and so coming together to eat together is something that we still want to be able to happen. And now the good news is that uh, at any restaurant, any social gathering, there are going to be numerous foods that you can choose from that will be healthy choices. In these social situations, most patients tell me that it's not hard to make healthy choices because their appetite points them in a more healthy direction. So they actually enjoy the proteins, the healthy fats, the spicy foods, the green vegetables, etc. Um, now, can you have a treat from time to time? Yes. I don't think anyone is absolutely perfect after bariatric surgery. In fact, we don't expect that for long-term success. Um, I think for people to be about 95% on track is going to be very satisfactory for keeping them healthy in the long run. What does that mean? That means that when a special occasion comes along, if it's your birthday, if it's someone else's birthday, can you have a slice of cake? I would say yes, but I want it to be kind of a sliverish slice rather than a slab type of slice. Can you have a little bit of ice cream? Absolutely. A couple spoonfuls, not a couple scoops. You know, so we'll make some changes here. And the other thing about treats is that um, I want you to be intellectually transparent with yourself. And when you're having these treats, recognize them as treats so that you make some other trade-offs. A little bit more exercise, a little bit less eating the next day. Uh, you know, take the potatoes off the plate for the next couple days if you have a little bit of cake. These are the kinds of trade-offs that will help to keep you successful in the long run. A couple of provisos or disclaimers. First of all, we do need to be very careful about alcohol in the long run. Alcohol is socially and culturally significant as well, but not always in a good way. So uh, we definitely want you to have a number of months completely off of alcohol after your bariatric surgery because people with a bariatric operation, sleeve or gastric bypass, are more sensitive to alcohol addiction or alcoholism. After that time period, it is reasonable and appropriate to have a little bit of alcohol on a social basis, but watch how it works in your body. I think you'll find that the alcohol uh, has a much stronger impact, a much harsher impact on your body, and um, also alcohol is a lot of calories, so we certainly do not want alcohol to be a really regular part of your food plan.
Uh, the other circumstance that I'm not really addressing in, in this video is the initial couple of months after the surgery. Uh, that's definitely a recovery time. Again, whether we're talking about sleeve or gastric bypass, there's lots of sensitivity of your little stomach. And uh, so you're not going to handle these solid foods in a normal way. And it's definitely a relearning process during the first couple of months. So this video should be focused on, let's say, three months, six months, one year, five years after the surgery. And in those times, you should eat kind of like a second grader or a fourth grader. And what I mean by that is that you want to choose healthy foods first so that you get nutrition first. Um, and you'll also find that you eat uh, kind of normal on some days, normal, small. Um, some days you'll have a big appetite. And then most often that big appetite is balanced by a smaller appetite the next day. We as bariatric surgeons have never figured out why these variations happen, but they're healthy as long as you follow your hunger level and uh, let the small days come just as you let the big days come. Okay, so have your bariatric operation, have your sleeve, your gastric bypass, uh, enjoy food, be natural around other people, be socially normal, and be more healthy.